Hey, how's it going everyone? This is PD Prowlock and yesterday Newcastle United won again get in and away from home as well that's four league wins in a row and five wins in all competitions brilliant wow let's keep this running going on for a while at least i'm so enjoying this at the minute even though in the championship but it's just so nice to see when your club goes on a win streak and against to do it against Derby County, which I thought was going to be a tough game, but Derby haven't scored a whole league goal yet this season and are struggling in the league as well. So I'm just glad we managed to bag three points down at their place, and I know a comfortable victory it was as well. So coming into the game, Derby have a chance, but it's ruled out offside. Good decision. And then Olsen goes down appealing for a penalty that he was that Anita made conked up with him. I think he was just looking for that. Uh, another I think I didn't like is Derby players just going down far too easily a lot of the time. Which annoys me a lot of the time where people just go down when there's nothing wrong with them a lot of the time. So Gale had a probably a good chance, which just went wide, was deflected, and Newcastle win a corner of this game. John Joe Shelby goes up to take the corner. He takes it. And here is a man who we used to slag off so many times. And all of us said she thought we should have sold him in the summer. But Rafa has got the best, getting the best out of this lad now. Johan Gufran volleys it and buries it past Scott Carson. What a finish that was. Well done, Rafa, for getting him back on form again. Because we were slagging him off for about at least two years. And Rafa, well, he certainly got players. He certainly got players playing for him now. And he's getting the best out of them now. We've seen it work, especially with Gufran, who scored that volley. I think he's getting more of the best out of likes of Anita, Shelby, and all that as well. But Gufran, foire. No keeper would have saved that. He absolutely buried it past Scott Carson. And then Newcastle go in the lead at half time. And Derby try to get back into this game a little bit. He had Olsen. Had a curling shot just off target. Whoa, that could have went anywhere. He was the one that scored the winner for Norwich when we played them in that 3 2 defeat. I was saying, oh god, he better not do that again. And he has a looping header that just went off target as well, so lucky for that one. Newcastle could have a chance. Diarmi gets the ball. He tries to chip the keeper. He got that all wrong. I thought. Bryson had a chance for them. Good save by Sells, but I think he should have caught that shot. Like He like puts his arms out like that. He's not thinking go just do it like that so I think he could have caught that one at least I thought and um, as I said yeah the army with the chip just off toy uh, but then Anya for them makes like a cross <laughs> on the wing on the left wing and then it hits the crossbar thinking oh crap that was a bit of a scare that one and then Diaby could add, an, add another chance. Good catch by the keeper. Could have probably pulled a bit more power than that. We know he scored cracking goals on his left foot. And he has done that against us when he's played for home. So it was a bit unlucky he couldn't get that one in. But then Newcastle win a corner. The take it short. Shelby whips a brilliant ball in. And Ayosi Perez gets a great touch. He touches it, and Yedlin is racing for the ball, who come on as a sub. Gets it onto it, but it then hits the defender, and it's in the back of the net for 2 nil. Most clips could have been claimed as an own goal, but I think Yedlin was given the goal. And not long we bought him. He's already got his first goal for the club. Well done to the lad. 
especially that touch from Perez was great. And while I've been a bit criticism of Perez's form, he started, he did start to struggle in this league for a little bit because he's compared to last season where he was scoring a few goals. Because you think about the championship, it's a tough league, it is quite physical a lot of the time. And that was a good touchy there to put that for Yedlin's second goal. Wow. I'm surprised Mitrovic was on the bench. He didn't bring him on. <laughs> Looks like we didn't need him for out that game. So, or is he not fully fit yet? We'll have to see about that. But will he come into the next game at some point? Let's hopefully he will do. So I would love to have seen the day. But just sounds like we didn't need him the day. Because that was it. Job well done. All the boxes ticked. Add. I'm glad another three points, but I'm expecting a tough game against Queen's Park Rangers on Tuesday. So hopefully, let's see if we could win down there as well and continue this form going. And I'm certainly happy at the minute that my club has found its winning streak so far. As I said, even it's in the championship, but just glad it's we're well, just winning games all of a sudden. And Rafa's definitely getting more of the best sell these players a lot, which I've been happy about. So another three points. That puts us second in the league. Hopefully Huddersfield can slip up a little bit so we can head up to that top place, which I presume where we'll want to be. <sighs> let's see how far that happens, and let's, can, let's keep this winning streak going. Eh? Hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more videos if you want, and I'll send you a subscribe back, like, comment. Uh, I'll check out my social links if you want to, and get in touch with us on there if you want to as well. And I'll see you all later. Take care. Another brilliant three points for Newcastle United Football Club.